Hi, I'm Professor Idris Gessous from Geneva University Hospital, and I'm very happy to discuss with you our new work published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings Journals entitled Association of Urinary Caffeine Excretion with Arterial Stiffness in a Large Population Based Studies. The take home message of our study is that our results are compatible with a protective effect of long term caffeine intake on arterial stiffness. Arteries can become stiff and what is called arterial stiffness is a major cardiovascular risk factor and it even increases the risk of all-cause mortality. There are many mechanisms that increase the stiffness of the arteries. Inflammation, chronic calcification, but diet may also influence arterial stiffness and caffeine at least acute caffeine intake has been associated with an increase in arterial stiffness. But the effect of long-term caffeine intake on arterial stiffness is less clear. We have shown previously that caffeine intake in the long term may actually decrease 24-hour blood pressure or was at least negatively associated in our cross-sectional study. To answer this new question on arterial stiffness, we use the data of the Skipox study. The Skipox study is a population-based family study conducted in Switzerland and led by Professor Muriel Boschu from the University of Lausanne. We included 863 participants, from whom we had information on caffeine urinary excretion and two markers of arterial stiffness, pulse pressure and pulse wave velocity. What we found was a negative association between pulse pressure and caffeine urinary excretion. The more caffeine in the urine, the lower the pulse pressure. For instance, pulse pressure decreased from 43 mm of mercury to less than 40 mm of mercury depending on the caffeine excretion. We also look at high pulse pressure, defined as pulse pressure greater than 40 ml of mercury. And we found that the prevalence of high pulse pressure decreased with increasing caffeine urinary excretion. We also look at pulse wave velocity and there only found a negative association between caffeine excretion and pulse wave velocity among people with the highest quintiles of caffeine excretion. In a daily basis, patients often ask physicians about the risk of hypertension depending on coffee consumption. What is interesting is in our study, the inverse protective potentially effect of caffeine intake was observed in both patients with and without hypertension. There are many mechanisms by which caffeine may influence arterial stiffness. And our goal is now to run new studies to better understand this mechanism. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.